T-minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11... Where would you go if you could go anywhere? What would you do if you could do anything? This is our story of booking a last minute ticket on the next flight, jetting off to Maui with a newfound friend. Meet Dan, the Yes Man. Two, one, zero, all engine running. Lift off. We have a lift off. Yo, good morning guys. It is the start of a beautiful day. You can see the red clouds rolling in behind us, and it is not sunset. It's one of the few times that I've actually managed to get up for sunrise, and I'm proud of myself. Rob, this is the regular for you. Yes, every day, man. You're literally up for sunrise like every day. Almost. I do like my days where I sleep in though. If you want to be good at Instagram, you have to be dedicated enough to catch the sunrise. Yeah, sunrise, times. sunset, midday naps, perfect way to live. Laura, do you agree with that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Morning, Dan. Morning. Welcome to Crouching Tiger? Lion. Crouching Lion, the other giant cat. It's about a 20 minute hike up, it's really really easy, but uh, an incredible spot to check out the sunrise. We were planning something a little more epic this morning, but uh, last night we got news of the weather and we were kind of concerned that if we went on this two and a half hour hike up to Stairway to Heaven, we would have been basically just like taken over by rain and clouds. And As you know, that's not a good thing when you're carrying expensive film equipment and it's no good for photos or video either. Turns out there was none of that, so just a beautiful morning. <laughs> After our sunrise hike, Dan took us up further north on the coastline to a place where you can occasionally jump on this oceanfront trampoline. Usually the trampoline is taken down, so we got really lucky. This is basically the most epic trampoline you will ever find over this incredible crystal blue water. If you don't already know, Dan's actually a professional diver. Uh, he actually has the technique down packed. He's not just like a cliff diver, even though he's really damn good at that. I'd only just met Dan the day before, but I immediately noticed something very unique about him. No matter what you had in mind, you could always count Dan in. So we decided to spring a last minute question on him and we invited him to join us on our flight to Maui, which, by the way, was leaving in less than three hours. So we have just gotten back to our Airbnb, we're packing up, we're heading out, and we're trying to convince Adventure Man Dan to come with us to Maui. Uh, it's one island over. It's literally like a 40 minute flight. Dan is the kind of guy. He goes with the flow. He's one who can seize the moment. Well, let's see. We're, we're texting him right now. We're really hoping he'll join us. And uh, we're pretty much heading to the airport in like less than an hour. It'd be fun to have him with us. We've come back to where we first started our trip here in Oahu, which is the cove. It's like the best acai bowl we had the entire trip. They have natural honey that basically it tastes like it came right out of the beehive. <laughs> Didn't see this coming. What do you expect? <laughs> you want my hand with Dan, are you coming? I'm coming. I'm in. Ah! Let's do this. <laughs> I don't want to be And just like that, our crew became one stronger. It's time to go to Maui. Maui Wowie. This is how you pack in five minutes and you don't know you're going on a trip until like 10 minutes before. <laughs> Donation. <laughs> and when you. <laughs> <laughs> this is for Dan. <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> Christian, we have to squeeze like an extra person in here, and it was already squishy in the back, so I don't know how we're gonna do it. Not as squishy as you. This is a game changer right there. That's what living life's all about, man. You grip Last it, and you rip minute. it. Last minute, good decisions. <laughs> now this is gonna be the art of packing. This car is made to uncomfortably carry four people. Now we're gonna try to fit in five and basically everyone's luggage. Doesn't look that tight, it's fine. I'm comfortable. I apologize. You wanna show us around? Yeah. Here in the rear. We're going to Maui. Well, that was officially the shortest flight I've ever done. About 25 minutes in the air. As soon as the stewardesses like got up from their seats to bring us a drink, they sat down and we landed. We're in Maui. Because they can't go Trying to get a car 
And this is the Labor Day weekend, which means our wallets are hemorrhaging at the seams. Like we are paying so much money for the Airbnb, we're paying so much money for the rental vehicle. I gotta say, like, I am loving Hawaii, but this is no longer Southeast Asia. We are paying about $110 to rent a standard. Damn. Our Airbnb is 250 US dollars per night. Arr, so much money. Push to start. Yeah, it's a push to start. That's what? Right. We got the most incredible packing job you could possibly ever do. We have four suitcases in the back. Like, I'm blown away Five right now. people. Can change that real quick? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, it's probably not a good idea. All right, guys, we are finally ready to start a real day here in Maui. Yesterday was just kind of like getting to the Airbnb. This is our place. It's very expensive, but it's beautiful. And uh, now we're ready to go and explore the road to Hana. Is that it? No, today we're going the other direction. <laughs> okay. Close though. So about an hour outside of the Airbnb, we are currently heading down to what is basically like a fairy tale forest. Oh my gosh, this place. This is so magical. It's like this a is fairy magical. Fairy godmother. beautiful forest I've ever seen. This is what you'd see in like Shrek, you know? I'm picturing Shrek right now, just like the enchanted forest. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. So, one of the things I like to do normally is give you guys the names of locations so that you can come and see for yourselves. Here in these videos, it'll be a little different because in Hawaii, there's a very tight-knit community of people trying to preserve these grounds. Uh, there's lots of local Instagrammers, YouTubers, and they actually like to keep these locations rather secret. So for those reasons, that's why I'm not really dropping names, I'm not dropping locations. They basically hate geotaggers, the people who show up and post a photo on Instagram saying this is where this was taken. Because as we've gotten to know a lot of landscape photographers, we're actually hearing of the destruction that goes on when thousands of people go to visit the exact same place day after day after day. It's kind of a weird situation because, you know, here we are, we like to take beautiful photos, show off these places, and yet we're not able to share them. I have to respect that that is what the locals do. If you're coming to these places, do your research. You can definitely find these kind of off the map locations. Truly, these are some of the most beautiful parts of Hawaii, but they're not always on the marked path, which makes for a little bit of treasure hunting to find them. So you don't know what you're doing And the walls are closing in So we are going to well Dan's gonna do some cliff jumping. I'm gonna go for a little dip in the water. Where is Dan gonna try jumping off of? Well there, but that's not safe. No no no. What? Oh over there. Hey there's people there. How did they get over there? How did your jump go? Dude, I enjoyed it thoroughly. It's gonna be edited together to look like one crazy jump where we had a film crew of 20 people scattered, but... What do you mean, we did? Yeah, we did, we I hired thought, a few yeah, people. We got, every kid here had a camera. Every <laughs> kid here had a 1DX or a drone. Welcome to Hawaii. So right now, we are currently headed up the mountain. This is like the number one thing to do in Maui, and that is check out Ali Akulis. Ak... 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 Ak what? Ali Akula. Hali Akala, which is, it literally means hallway, no, it does. House of the Sun. House of, House of the Sun. I've this like 20 times. Hallway of the Sun. I'm like Wikipedia, I'm like, I'm not always correct, but I'm still a good resource. We're gonna be cold according to Dan, but Dan's from Hawaii, so like it might just be a comfortable day in Canada. We'll find out. We don't need the AC anymore. It's getting like several degrees cooler as we get up. 
So the coolest thing about this is the fact that we are actually going to be on top of the clouds and just kind of like an extraterrestrial feeling like out of this galaxy. But we're gonna wait. I don't want to build it up too much just in case weather doesn't pan out. Status update, we are on top of the clouds and there's like a double layers. We're rushing our way to the top because we've got about 15 minutes to get up there and only about 20 minutes after that until the sun sets. This is literally one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I'm a little bit out of breath because you can definitely feel the altitude here. We are above the clouds. We are basically in Mars. I'm guessing either the lack of oxygen or maybe it just doesn't rain enough for the vegetation or too cold, I'm not sure, but it's just like a desert up here. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, what is going on? You gotta get up there. <laughs> To live in the moment is a choice we are given every day, but too often we train ourselves to create excuses, to close doors instead of opening them, and to say no instead of saying yes. I challenge you to take your no's and make them yeses. Adopt the yes man mindset and enjoy the ride. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please smash that like button, hit the bell button to be notified when the next Hawaii video goes up, and also check out the playlist for the entire Hawaii series, linked down below. A huge shout out to Rob and Dan, because without them, we could not have made this video with so many shots and angles, and let's just say, we make a really good cinematic team. Let's get lost again in the next one.